Hey everybody and welcome to my latest walkthrough for Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8 or whatever whatever way you want to call it. Um yeah, don't know quite what to think about this. I wasn't I haven't been in a rush to play it, but I picked it up along with Miles Morales Spider-Man, so I'm sort of catching up on some PS5 games I've uh, let slip by the wayside. So, before I get into it, I am going to play Remembering Resident Evil 7. I have got a walkthrough for Resident Evil 7 on my channel, so if you haven't checked that out, do go and take a look at that. That one hasn't got commentary for it, and it's not that long. It wasn't that bad a game. It's got some of the DLC as well. It hasn't got all the DLC. So yeah, by all means, do check that out if you haven't uh, done so already. But if you don't want to, let's take a look at this. My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Okay, well that was a very broad overview of the, of Resident Evil 7. But then again, he's not in any of the DLC. It doesn't quite explain some of the other things that were happening in the game, so I'm assuming some or all those like plot lines which weren't mentioned in that particular video uh, have no bearing on this one because I think one of the family members, if I remember right, um, was working for one of the corporations, was working for some corporation uh, behind the virus in that game and whatever. So let's start, shall we? Long ago. A young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. 
Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. What the? Gave, but more you what the hell was that? So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. That opening had a very... Something? Uh, Nothing. I'll put her down. That opening had a very Deathly Hallows, Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows vibe to it. When, what's his name? I can't remember. The actor. Uh, the, crazy, the, the blonde girl's dad's talking about the Deathly Hallows. That sort of animation style. That's pretty much what that intro reminded me of. And also, Ethan is married to a psycho, it seems. Who reads that story to her child. You think horror, like traditional horror or like folklore horror, would be something she'd avoid after the events of the previous game? Yeah, let's go poke around their house. Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has? I don't know what that means because I can't see the band. What is that, like Fear Factory or something? I don't know. All right, but it's, uh, what's this? Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? Yeah, okay. Ah, hello. Oh, Mia. What a miracle. Oh, it's going to be one of those weird things, isn't it, where uh, we haven't actually seen... Like, Ethan's supposed to be us, or whatever, like the player. So we don't actually see his face. So I'm assuming every picture in this game of their family will just be of her <coughs> of her and the baby. And if Ethan is in it, it'll be like his head's cut out or like, you know, it's from his back Three or something. Ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Oh, I can't wait to see the wedding photos. God damn, they do like their wine, don't they? Fucking hell. They have a kid. Where do they get the time to drink so much wine? God, what's this? Like a wine rack in here some, somewhere, is there? Uh, yeah, no, mm, moonshine, maybe. Moonshine and a bottle of wine. Oh, uh, and baby food. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Uh, okay, making baby food by hand. I wonder if there's any wine in it. They got enough to spare. 
All right, let's poke around upstairs. Wow, oh, pipes. Uh, okay, he doesn't say that, so I'm assuming he's just thinking it to himself. A glimpse into the mind of Ethan Winters. These wipes took forever to get. She's going to grow beautiful. Uh, okay. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Mm hmm. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, can't open the other one. Let's go upstairs. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. This ain't no bedroom. What's this? Drugs and perhaps something she's putting up her nose. I don't know what that vial is, brother. But, uh, alright. Leave all that stuff there. What's over here? Try to do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. My god, they live like pigs. What is this? This is just like the, the crap room, isn't it? Like the tat. Any bits of random furniture junk just gets thrown in you. Mm, I'm not a fan of the decor, generally. Uh, the wallpaper, uh, specifically. Oh, what's in here? Your mama and I love this song so much. Ah, never mind. Almost there, honey. Okay, this is nice. Anything over here to interact with? Who was this? Okay, so to answer my question, nothing over there to interact with. Gun survivalist. I have to really out to get you. Wait, what's that say? Uh, <coughs> a heavy no, a heavy firearms manual for field combat situations by Joseph Kendo. Uh, Joseph Kendo. So, from playing Resident Evil Two and the Three, the remakes, I there is a, a a shop called Kendo's Gun Shop, I think. So I assume that's the guy who owns the gun shop, and he possibly made it out. Oh, he died. I, I can't remember. Ah, the photo album. <laughs> oh, yep, there you go. His face is concealed. That's just her. And the baby. Her and the baby. Anything else? Yep. I wish it could stay like this forever. I'm, le I'm I'm starting to think that maybe Ethan believes cameras steal his, will steal his soul, so he doesn't like to stand in front of them. Or we know his wife's not quite there, all there up upstairs, and uh, maybe, just maybe, she likes all the pictures to be of her, Time for bed. to be of her, to be about her, to be with her in. You know, you you get what I'm saying. Okay, so Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe, with our abundance of wine and Mia making her own baby food. And so we can bring up Rose properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hell back in Louisiana. Well, if I ever went to Louisiana, I'd probably feel trapped there too. 
So if I went specifically to the place they went to, which I would never go to because it's in the middle of the swamp or whatever, this <laughs> is like, why would you? Why? I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but uh, you can really just forget everything. You can't really forget just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen. Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We hope her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's put the baby down. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. She's scary when she's not angry. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Okay, the movement seems a bit uh, a bit more reactive than I was expecting it to be. I think Sevens was pretty good too, actually. It wasn't too sluggish. Is she okay? Sleeping like a uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be. Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so. <laughs> Mia, get down! Mia! Well, this took a turn. Not the wine, not the wine. Mia, oh God. Chris, what the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Not boulder punching Chris Redfield. That champion of the oh, just. Move. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Down boy. <laughs> Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! 
you just... Mia, Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. What's all the mobiles ringing? He dreams of a mobile, we accept to a mobile. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not authorized to walk over. And the phone died. Probably didn't keep it charged. What the hell happened to you? Okay, can't pick that up. What's this? Mission objectives. Eliminate Target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters, move the two Winterses Winterses to Site C for s further investigation, and at least two transport officers to accompany them. I count one. Where's the other guy? Is he in here? No. Maybe he was driving? Is there someone out front? Where are we? I assume we fell, like, what, tumbled off the road, maybe? Because this isn't big enough for a car. Well, it's not big enough for that car. Okay, Ethan. You've been in worse spots than this. If you're lucky, this is the same place that Leon went to in Resident Evil 4, and everyone is dead already. You're probably not that lucky, but you might be. Okay, that way. I'm stuck. Stuck already. Oh, wait, no, I crouch. Okay. You can't. No, okay. Animation. Alright. Oh, no. He's bleeding. Why don't you just, you know... Uh, point the flashlight up a bit. Ah, that's a big bird. Yeah, why don't you point the flashlight up a bit? God damn it, Ethan. Work with me here. Uh, oh, what's this? How charming. In the dark, that's not a good place. It's not a good combination. <laughs> also, it's worth noting that it's impressive that his arm is still working, because if memory serves, he had that chopped off in the last game, 
and stapled it back on and it just worked fine Mmm, lovely. Is that nasal sp Is that that sort of like nasal thing again? What? God, everyone in this country loves putting things up their nose, apparently. It's the only way they take medication. Freeze, motherfucker! Ah. That was a bit of a letdown. Now, you see, I know why fucking light is down below. It's because some fucking thing is going to jump out at me. Because you think good old Ethan here has been enough shit to know that he uh, should probably point the bloody thing up high a bit, you know? Uh, I'm gonna jump, aren't I? I know I am. Freeze! Ah. Uh. Right. My heart rate is going a bit, Ashley. Um, <laughs> I just know it's coming. Something is going to happen here, I know it is, but... There we go. Anything left of the bloody house? Nope. No. Oh, what are you doing? Don't go, on, don't go under it. Yeah, you're crawling through blood, you weirdo. Yeah. Exactly. What are you doing? You could just lift up the. Like, I doubt it's that heavy. What's it all this? How long was I down there? <laughs> I was only in the house for about 10 minutes. Daytime. Ah, oh, look at that, he's got a bit of a spring in his step now, he's going a bit quicker, that's nice. That house must have had some sort of restorative powers. Where the hell am I? Oh my god. Am I in Yarnum? Like, I, I'm assuming Yarnum is just on the other side of that castle. And there's like, the events of Bloodborne taking place. Okay, well, against all better judgement, let's go and wander into the village, shall we? Ah, poor horse. Unless it was evil. And it got what it deserved, but uh, no way to tell that just yet. Uh, what's in here? Anything in you? Hello? Is there some sort of native that doesn't speak English? And will eventually brandish uh, an axe and come at me? Okay. People here do not know how to look after their furniture and have an awful, awful 
sense of interior decor. And I don't like to read. Or eat, apparently. Uh, oh, what's in here? What? Seriously, who locks these? Like, look at the state of this place. And what's behind door number two? Uh, an animal cage. Okay. Mm, is it smart to follow the blood trail? Probably not. What's up here? Anything interesting? Nope, a handbag. A handbag and some potatoes. Another bit of tat. Let's bite the bullet. Let's head on to whatever this place leads. Yeah, this really could be the shitty village from what Resident Evil 4. Locked due to missing homeowner. Uh, well, it's good to know someone cares about bureaucracy here. I'm just going to hide in you now. Spend the rest of the game just standing here until uh, until it all blows over. Alright, there's little chickens. Not every bird in this place, or anything with wings, is killed. That's good to know. There's some sort of civility here. Some force could break it, so if I karate chop it, I should get to what's inside. Aha! A knife! Not the most threatening knife I've ever seen in a Resident Evil game, specifically, but it'll do. Did they just run out of the house? Yeah. What is that? I, I see what they've done there, actually. It's a uh, stew of sewage. Lovely, lovely stew of sewage. Oh, friendly. fuck! Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? I have a knife. Just as good. Take it! Take it! No, it's out there. Hey, are you listening? Hey! Stop this! There's no hole up there. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. 
dead body? Yes, yes, Ethan. That Wait, is a dead body. Boy. Yeah, fucking idiot. Can I get back up there? Wait, so some something pulled me down here and scarpered. What was the point? Could have just left me up there. Jesus Christ. Yep, no, that's a dead man, alright. What the hell is wrong with this place? Huh. Oh, shit. I tell you. I'm just pissing away ammo here. What the hell? He's doing alright actually for someone who's had parts of two fingers chewed off. Like if this was me, I'd be like I'd just be screaming like a motherfucker. But him killed a weird werewolf man. Back. Right. The devs of these games really do love to just have Ethan's general body part get the body parts get chewed off or just cut off or skewered. God damn. Like none of the other Resident Evil protagonists actually have to go through this. Okay, let's not go back in there. I've only got five bullets left. Uh, maybe I maybe I do have to go back in there, but I don't want to. What's this? What? Uh, oh, right. Now you see, this is again one of the things that, you know, video games fall down on. Because in real life, I just fucking vault over this thing. Because I'd rather be on the other side of this fence than be on this side with these fucking things. <coughs> and only five bullets. Wait a minute. Where's the hole I was pulled down through? Okay, so I got the bolt cutters. Yeah, so he was pulled up there. Like, is the... Did the table move? Because I was pulled downstairs. And somehow pushed through this. That doesn't make any sense. What the hell? What did that happen? Oh, that's some Inception bullshit right there. 
Inception stairwell bullshit. Those arrows. What the hell? Hey, what's up here? What's downstream? Yeah, this is different to what I was expecting. I don't know why I did that, because I'm sure I have to go back out there. Uh. Ah! What the hell? God damn it, Ethan. You are a fucking menace to yourself as well as others. Ah! Fuck! Die! Die! Where's Van Helsen when I need him? Okay, now they're just being dicks. Why are they breaking the house? Items can be crafted. Uh huh. Away with you. What's this? <laughs> Get away. I tell you. Get out of my house. Oh god. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, weird. Teeth and claws are no good here, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. Guy's got a serious case of gingivitis. What the fuck? Ethan, you're recently single. Let's go and meet Louisa. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Why is he not in pain?
Away with you. I have silver. Silver bullets. Werewolves don't like silver bullets. There is, there is werewolves in it. Away! Away with you! Uh, oh! This escalated. Oh, for fuck's sake, send out a siege, really? Surely not. Damn it, I can't remember what the crafting thing looked like. What did I, what did I press? Ah! Okay. I'll, I'll take it. He's gonna have his way with me. <laughs> I should go. I just need to try and remember now, what the hell? There's no end to them. I've noticed. Ah, no! Get away! Get away! Get away! Yeah, bald fuck. Oh, this cannot be a case of me just being like running in one, from one house to another. The fuck is this? Skull crystals, the hell. It really is annoying that I can't remember how to. Ah! I don't know where to go. Am I supposed to just like kill these guys? Try to kill these guys? Because that ain't gonna work. This is a big one? Oh my god. Can I hide in you? This is ridiculous. Oh my god, I get this elevator up behind me. Fuck! Oh, this is basically Resident Evil 4. What the hell? Well, I say basically, sort of, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 doesn't quite have werewolf men. What the hell is he? Get away. Oh my god. No, go away, go away, go away. Ah, uh, yeah.
Yeah, you should be feeling that a lot more than what you are, my friend. the fuck was any of that? What were they smoking when they made this game? What are you buying? In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey! Can you hear me? Oh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no! Wait! Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all! They're coming again! <laughs> Rose is here? Why am I always on the wrong side of this fucking gate? Yeah, the last thing I was expecting to see were these, like those werewolf men riding on horses. Because, you know, they're werewolves. They didn't seem like they needed help getting around. Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. I've read better poetry. What is it with all these locks? In the kitchen of all places. Uh, maybe they're locking away the booze. Wait, what button was that for the map? Ah, right. So where am I? I am right here, just uh, ran around there a bit, uh, came from all the way down there, I'm guessing that was the car crash. Alright, so basically it's on the other side of this thing. That's where I came from. Nope, not that one. Down there, right, okay. And I need to go all the way up to uh, Central Yarnum up there. Uh, just need some kind of other item. So it's good to know that things are consistently not working here. Yeah, it's all, it's of that sort of Resident Evil universe mindset where someone's basically stolen something important and run off with it. For no... no good reason. May offer these goats of warding to protect the village and its people. Any who break them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. Oh, they aren't fucking working, are they?
Castle Dimitrescu. So I need to get two seals to a very creepy looking door. Okay. It's good to have a game plan. And I found one. Yeah. What a creepy woman. And whatever that is. What's this over here? Fuck, yeah. Oh, I, I don't like this town already. Oop, wait, uh, there we go. Nope, what's this? Ah, god damn it. Right. Should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crests. One is in the care of the church, and the other is in Louise's house. Who's. Mm, so I'm there. That is a very badly drawn map. Can I take it? No. Ooh, typewriter, that's what I wanted. First fucking typewriter in this entire game. Fuck's sakes. I make an hour in. Ooh, what's this? what's this? So that's what I need to get. Yeah. Outer gate. And there's a lock pick there. Iron insignia key. Don't know what that means. Uh, oh, no, that's the things that are locked away. Fair enough. And another lock pick. A ladder, I guess. Another ladder. Right. So if I go there, I get the lockpick. I can open that up. Ooh, this is shiny up there. I think this might be shiny. Hmm. So yeah, uh, this building here has a lockpick. It says lock. Fuck. What am I supposed to do? It says lockpick. It says lockpick and there are like actual locks. So I... Okay. Can I go back? No. What's a man to do? I don't know what that was, but I picked it up. I should probably start by looking for a way to use this. Because it's Resident Evil, and there's no doubt in my mind that it's probably like a lockpick down there. There's like a... Uh, uh, like a bucket, maybe, with like a lockpick inside. I don't know what that was either, but I picked it up. I really need to start reading things before you hit X. Because I get the feeling I'm going to piss someone off. Uh, Speaking of pissing someone off. <coughs> nope. Nada. Nothing. Good. Okay, so there is a path up here, which seems to be the only way forward.
All right, let me put this crest. No. There's definitely something in that shield back there. God damn, is there, is there nothing here I can use to pick this stupid thing? And easy to pick lock. Yeah, not that easy, is it? Hmm, alright, so there are entrances around that house. Or places I haven't explored yet, anyway. Not gonna get my hopes up and say there are entrances or exits here. So that's locked, obviously. Some sort of, yeah, <coughs> iron key or whatever. Well, shit. Yeah, I know, it's only like a little thing, like being out of ammo. I'm just going to take a wild guess, but I'm probably going to have to go through there to get to the lockpick. Maybe. Oh, there's another house. There's plenty of houses to check, actually. Yeah. Uh, anyway, well, I, I it's been like an hour, so I'm going to call it quits here, I think. Thank you all for watching this. I'm going to be uploading it uh, pretty much straight away, actually, this video. And it'll, I'll, I'll be uploading the the rest of the parts then, as and when I uh, get around to making them. Do leave a like for the video if you enjoyed watching it, and do leave a comment down below, tell me what your opening thoughts were, what I did wrong, anything I missed along the way, I'll go back and pick it up, and yeah, just uh, hit that subscribe button as well to keep up to date with future walkthroughs, you know the gist of all this. Thank you all for watching. I My opening thoughts of this game are that it could be interesting. It is uh, definitely different to other Resident Evil games, and part of me is wondering why they decided to give it the Resident Evil title anyway, because it looks like it's got nothing that you'd expect from a Resident Evil game. Like even the even seven seven was different, but even that sort of tied into the sort of mythos of Resident Evil, whereas I cannot see this tying into. Resident Evil, unless we find out one of the bad guys is like the auntie of Wesker or some shit. Anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. But until then, look after yourself, and do take care.